How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the 100% walkthrough for Wolong Fallen Dynasty. So, uh, funny story. Um, this uh, this episode is being filmed in reverse, and <laughs> what I mean by that is, uh, unfortunately, the recording of the second half of the area uh, got corrupted, and everything up until the boss uh, got corrupted. So. Uh, boss fight was uh, the first time around that you will see later in the episode. However, I had to uh, beat the boss and then uh, work my way back through the area up until this point uh, to re-record. Re um, so, obviously, items and everything are back. However, uh, some of the key items uh, I will point out... Um, because they have changed now, like the, uh, there was a dragon vein crystal and, uh, tablets and stuff like that. So I will point those out, uh, as to what those should be when you come across them. So, taking care of Big Boy over here. There is a marking flag hidden. Back in the corner. And most of the most of the marking flags are towards the end of the level. Certainly pack most of them in there at the end. Okay, so hop across here, grab this. Wouldn't be the first time uh, recordings have failed me. But it is what it is. I absolutely love this game, so it doesn't matter to me. Alright, so... Planting the battle flag. There are a bunch of assassin guys in this area. As you can see, we got a stack of chi to use here. Working back through the area. And we got some more wizardries. We almost have all the wizardries. We're going to get that. And that. And Lion's Roar. And Devouring Sweep. Uh, as you can see, some of the ones at the top um, need completion of a certain battlefield. Um, does essentially, there is a duel later on that we have to uh, complete, and we will unlock those. It's not too, too far off. So, porcupine, hiding, waiting for you to grab that item and do their roly-poly attack on you. Okay. Now, up here on this, uh, walkway around the building here assassin over here so grab the talismanic water this would be a tablet but it is now replaced with a throwing knife so that would be the final tablet in the area I believe it's called the Entertainer's Note or something. I got this guy.
can see there's some assassins hiding in the bamboo there. Now over the side here, this would be a health upgrade. Um, it is now replaced with a genuine cheat clock. Okay, down the stairs here. We have another guy. Be careful not to go too far over into the bamboo because then you're gonna aggro this guy over here. Come on. Another guy there. I would recommend when you're going through here, just keep clicking in your stick to lock on the people and you'll find them. Let's take it slow. Definitely don't want to get mobbed by the assassins. So before we go through that door, Got some more guys along here. Another guy right here. Just being sneaky and hiding in that bamboo. Okay, got another full axe guy. Him come over. go too far over there because there's more guys over there. Pull them back a little bit. Okay, another assassin right here. Sneak up on his ass. We can be the sneaky assassin too. Okay, there's another one too. As you can see. Fortunately, he's pathing his slow ass over here. Now there are some guys in that gazebo, so that's why I'm waiting for him to come over. So yeah, marking flag in there and then glaive guy and another guy. And no matter what you do, they're both going to aggro at the same time. Alright, you need to calm down. This area cleared out here. Item under this little bridge over here. And there's the battle flag that we got earlier. So now we are cleared to move on here. So over here we have a wizard on the left. Item back here. It's a big guy right there. Damn. 
25 morale just shredding people. Okay, so nothing in here other than a little item in a corner. Um, up there, though, we will be opening a door back to the shortcut to uh, the second battle flag of the area that we got in the previous episode. You will see in a second here. Now, the reason why that's significant, um, you know, you're probably saying, well, why am I going to rest at that battle flag? Well, because in case anything goes wrong, there is a uh, little mini boss fight with uh, uh, Fengzi, um, the, uh, the boar, right through the store here. So, if you're worried about it, um, you can rest at that battle flag. I think you guys should be okay. I mean, these guys, at this point, should be a piece of cake. time through this area, this guy didn't even touch me. Of course, he hit me with a red attack. It's a triple charge. He was guarding a battle flag right here. Now we're gonna four star bronze pull arm mace. Let's take a look at that. So I think that scales with wood. As you saw there, um, I did have Blasting Flare on. Um, that was because... Actually, we don't want to go through this door. We want to go up this way. Um, I did have Blasting Flare on, and that was for the boss. Um, he is uh, metal-based, so... Despite our... Um, not a high investment in fire at the moment. I mean, we will be adding more fire to our build. Um, but, uh, I just wanted to throw some fire in there to have something to use against him. Here is another marking flag. This little crystal branch here. Jump over. Critical this porcupine. here. Another little goodie. 
rank six steel. I always, I always forget about this porcupine. So we got multiple tigers over here. So what I do is I pull the first one back over here. The other one's sleeping over there, as you can see. chance. Alright, so over here there is another tiger over there, but we're going to go up top first. There are some warlocks that are going to be shooting at you. One here. And up here, make sure you grab the golden cicada shell, which has been replaced by throwing knives in my game. Up on this tiger said. Be careful you don't aggro the big guy over there and the tiger at the same time. Sneak up on Mr. Assassin here. Top. Take care of the other wizards. There's only one. I thought there was another one. Thinking of the other one on the other route. And I like to go around this way. Because there is a assassin waiting for you. Grab that. And up on top here is a marker flag. marker flags and all of the battle flags at this point. <laughs> Take care of this guy. Entertainer set has a lot of uh, luck on the uh, on each piece. So if you're trying to do some farming, it's uh, pretty much the ideal set to use. Do some farming along with the Master Smith Hammer. So we're gonna level up here again, and we are going to cut to the footage of boss from the first time around. You want to, like I said, set 
blasting flare in here to use. It does help. So let's talk about the boss. The boss is Dong Zhou. Um, don't underestimate this guy. Um, first time I came across him, I'm like, oh, this guy's a joke. No. Um, in the Let's Play, I used uh, companions against him, and I almost got him first try, and that's because I had companions with me. This guy is no joke. Um, even on New Game Plus, like this guy, this guy gave me some trouble. So, um, he's got some, he's got a big glaive, uh, likes to do a lot of delayed attacks, some, uh, faster attacks with it, uh, he does a lot of, uh, big, huge lunges with it, uh, several of which can really hurt, um, a couple red attacks to look out for, um, he does a devastating grab, he can grab you, headbutt you, it's a multi-hit, he can grab you, headbutt you, uh, then knees you, then throws you on the ground. You're starting to get up and you think you're good, but then he hits you with his glaive. And he can follow that up with uh, some devastating thrust attacks. He likes to do the kick a lot. As you can see, there's the grab. Watch out for that. Now he's, we're using lightning, he can, he throws poison darts at you, and he can uh, put out your lightning uh, by throwing those at you if you have your, your lightning weapon on, so just, you'll see that, probably, probably gonna do that, like right there, literally, literally just did it as I said it, there's the thrust, that is a multi-hit uh, thrust, and that hurts if it hits you. There's the darts. See, the, the tell is when he, like, spins around and then he does the thrust. He's going to do that multi-hit. Kind of like his blade, like, vibrates or something. Thrust. There. Okay, that. So, like I said, delayed attacks and some quicker attacks. Those are quicker swings. Kick. He's gonna change up a little bit in second phase. He's gonna like jump up in the air and then throw the darts at you. Multi hit. There we go. Jumps up in the air. He's gonna change up his uh, his red attacks a little bit too, like that. That would be like a uh, like a horizontal horizontal uh, swipe with his wave. That's a grab again. Oh my God, three in a row, Jesus! There's the other red attack. Can't believe just the three in a row. What an asshole! Yeah, those can those can hurt too. Darts, the multi throw darts, knives, whatever you want to call them. He does a little spin to win there, that's a little different in the second phase. I'm telling you, just watch out for that grab because if that hits you, you're probably done if you're not at full health. It's not a good time. Especially if he follows up with uh, the thrusts like he's doing right now, right after the grab, like you have absolutely no time to heal. So you just put the lightning out again. That one's probably about the easiest one to deflect. My dream of an everlasting empire won't die. Knocked him out of one. There we go. 
Now, if he does that grab, like, right on top of you, that's that's tough to deflect if he does, decides to do that when you're right on top of him. But he may take a few. Like I said, he's really, he's really not a joke. I thought he was at first, but he really is not at all. So, got another access to another Divine Beast. Got some goodies. And we are moving on to the next main battlefield, but I believe we have several sub-battlefields and duels uh, and stuff like that that have opened up at this point. So I think after this episode, I think we will have a couple um, intermission episodes, if you will, with uh, sub-battlefields. Um, there's a sub-battlefield, and then um, I will be probably so, be lumping yeah. in a few duels to one episode and then we will continue Make with this way. this uh battlefield that they're sending us to right now which is uh wars flames blaze so fiercely this level is pretty cool too i am jun yu general Cao's advisor Initially, Colonel Shaho was tasked with defending Puyang City. However, it was assaulted by Lu Bu while he was away, and it was taken. Now he has returned, and making considerable efforts to recapture the city. I only pray that the elixir supposedly held by Lu Bu's army does not invite foreseen circumstances. Please catch up to him and provide some support if possible. I shall join with General Cao once the troops are readied. May you fight well. Please catch up to him. I shall... May you fight well. I don't mind having you with us, as long as you pull your weight. Okay, so we do have a companion in this mission. Alright, so as you can see, this is the main battlefield. Then, we still have Like Father, Like Son. Um, Fate of the Entertainer, several of these other ones, a duel with Jayun, a duel with Cao Cao. Uh, so, several things to cover in the next couple episodes. But, that is about it for now. Hopefully you're all doing well. Stay tuned, more coming at you. Take care.